Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Fikri Hakim bin Amir Hamza from class CS 2553A Today, I am going to present for our case study for subject data communication Our group consists of four people Aina Saida binti Idrus Muhammad Nabil bin Ahmad Ahmad Fikri Hakim bin Amir Hamza and Afiza binti Mak Yusof Our case study is prepared for Madam Nur Hayati binti Muhammad Nur. For our introduction, first, the project network comprises of a wide area network connecting multiple local area network using cables. Second, there are nodes that are connected by cables and Wi-Fi with the purpose of transmitting, exchanging or sharing data and resources using routers, switches, access points and cables. Third, there are two sub-networks in each of the local area network. Next, the first sub-network connect multiple computers and printers using a switch. Moreover, the other sub-network connect multiple laptops using a wireless access point. Furthermore, the next network type in the project is storage area network. It is a dedicated network that is used for data storage. Lastly, this network consists of multiple server and a switch. For our objective, first, it is to understand the concept of local area network design, as well as to illustrate the concept theory of local area network and IP addressing by using real-world technologies communication theories and formula in a structure of network. Also, to discuss how the data flow within a network. Now, I will explain step-by-step -step process which is to set up the LAN. First and foremost, we must select the required device for the workspace such as router, switches and end device. The next step is connect it through wireless or wired. Then, assign the information from the query to the network. After that, configure the requirement for each device. Later, configure the appropriate module for the wireless interface. At this point, repeat the process for other branches. Drag the server to the workspace and assign the wired connectors from the server to the switch. Next, configure the server addresses then connect the network to the main router. Last but not least, configure the router and ping another PC on a separate network. Hi, it's me here, Aina Saeed Aminti Idris. I'm gonna to explain to you step by step process um, Flashing in the network of process to send a message. Then we're gonna go to the Cisco packet tracer to see how the proper way of sending a message from this network to another network. So in this slide, as you can see, the diagram first show to send PDU from PC1 to PC2 in H2 network. The status is successful. The second one, the diagram shows to send PDU from PC4 in H2 network to PC6 in Penang branch network. The status is successful. The last one, Dragon shows to send PDU between servers. The PDU is sending from HTTP server to FTP server. The status is successful. Now let's go to the Cisco packet tracer on how to send a message. Now we are in the Cisco packet tracer. I'm gonna introduce to you um step by step process on how to send a message. Firstly, um, this one is for PDU, simple PDU on how to transfer a message. You're gonna put at any PC that you want like this. This is um, between a sub-network. You put here and then you're gonna put here. So you see, the status is successful. Or we can delete and we can click new. 
This is scenario one. Scenario two. Okay, on on how to send via perfectly is using the simulation technique. In the simulation technique, this is where we can see perfect perfect flow between the message between the data. Edit the filters is IPv4 in ICMP, IPv6 9, MIC, MISC, also 9. So you can add reset simulation, same as before, click on simple network or yeah. If you hold on the cursor, it says add simple PDU, P, and then the next, next between the before, add complex PDU or C. So you click on here, you put here, and then here. Okay, so you're gonna see this is in progress. You play control, you move forward. So you can see the data is being transferred. You click next, already here, already sent. To the receiver, this is the sender and then this is the receiver. Here you can see um from PC0, PC0, it took 0 0.001 second to reach to the switch, high school switch. And then you move forward. PC1 took 0 0.003 seconds to go to high school switch. And then, I can switch to 0 0.004 to move back to the sender. And then the size, and then the status is successful. It says here buffer is full. So click add. Hold on, it take time. Wait the program to respond. Loading, wait a while. Oh, yeah. So, we previous events. It become like this because it cannot move because I press on the move forward and it is the buffer full, meaning that the status is completed. So, you press on delete all the scenario, all the, all the, all the scenario, I think. Or, or the progress is deleted. So I will put on from PC. This one, right? Okay, lah. I I put here PC four, PC four to PC six, and then we're gonna see how it took to send the data from PC four. At HK Network to PC Seeds in Penang Branch Network. In the reach here, HK Switch. And then the router. HK Switch. Got loading. So, it cannot send to the router the data. So, we're going to try next movement. We're going to send to PC4 to laptop 4. It has no functional ports. From PC4 to printer. Printer. Okay. To the HK switch, to the router, the router got problem.
few previous events reset simulation or you can just delete here I'm gonna send video from this server to this server let's see how it works the HTTP server at S server send to a multi-layer switch and then received by FTP server move here and then here so yeah it does success so we're gonna send from Johor branch network PC8 to HK network PC4 we see how it goes visible yeah it resend resend okay so as we seen so far the PC8 send the send the data to Johor switch Johor switch it takes 0 0.006 second for it to reach Johor switch and then to the router 1 to the HK switch yeah PC4 already received the data yeah it's sent back to HK switch to the router to switch oh no I press twice Okay, so yeah, it does receive back to PC. This one we call it as Unicast, Unicast send, or to the specific sender and back to the receiver. So the status is successful, so we delete. And then we're gonna try it back from Pinna Branch Network to to Johor Branch Network. We see is that success or fail? We see six to PC. Is one what PC? I think that is. PC. Seven. Yeah. So same as before, it cannot reach to the router one from pin and branch network. There is maybe it cannot ping the data, or it doesn't see the specific at pin and branch network. So that's all from me, and I send to my member to explain about analysis of topic and the conclusion. Thank you. In analysis of topic, we are going to discuss about the device that we use in the network. Firstly, a router. A router is a networking device that sends data packets between computer networks. Routers are responsible for traffic routing on the internet. A router is linked to two or more data lines from several IP networks. 
when a data packet is entered on one of the lines, the router scans the network address information in the packet header to determine the eventual destination. The packet is then routed to the next network on its path using information from the routing table or routing policy. The second device is a network switch. A network switch is a piece of networking hardware that connects device on a computer network by using packet switching, a method of grouping data that is transmitted over a digital network into packets to receive and forward data to the destination device. Ethernet switches are the most prevalent type of network switch. The third is wireless access point. A wireless access point is a networking hardware device that allows other Wi-Fi device to connect to a wired network. An access point connects directly to a wired local area network, generally Ethernet, and then provides wireless connectivity for other devices to utilize that wired connection via wireless LAN technology. Most commonly Wi-Fi. Four is physical connection. Network cables are a type of gear that is used to link networking device such as routers, switches, and computers. There are numerous types of network cables used to link device. Among these cables are optical fiber, coaxial, and twisted pair cable. They differ in terms of price, installation method, and installation pace. And lastly is wireless connection. A wireless network is a computer network that connects network nodes using wireless data links. Wireless network is a technique of avoiding the costly procedure of installing wires into a building or as a connection between multiple locations of equipment in residence, telecommunication, networks, and commercial facilities. In conclusion, we learn from creating the simple network that we must first know what device to use or drag to the blank space on the logical topology and what cable to connect between the two devices, as well as the steps to connect the simple network and how to use the command prompt and the IP address of the device. The benefits are that we may learn how to use the packet tracer as well as how the internet is connected. The problem or constraint is the lack of time to complete the project and work to complete it successfully.